Hello and welcome back to our video series on feet, shoes, and insoles. In this video we're going to discuss insoles. Uh, there are so many insoles on the market, it is even funny. Uh, I've had a chance to uh, put my hands on dozens of them and, and I've made probably thousands of custom insoles, so I, I've, I've had some time with foot orthotics. Um, it can be very confusing for customers. It can be confusing for us because there's so many of them. Um, so I, I'm i going to share with you the things I've learned over the years and where I've landed and what I like. Um, as we've already discussed, there are three basic uh, arch heights. There's your high arches, there's your normal height arches, and then there's your low arches. Um, and pretty much the insoles that we've landed on this time all, all, of our, all of our insoles are normal height arches. We haven't, uh, we're, we haven't pursued high arches. We will be pursuing the low arches. We should, we're gonna start carrying Birkenstock arch supports, uh, three quarter length and full length sometime in the fall. So I'm looking forward to that. So uh, Birks are great for the folks with, with um, low arches. But right now, everything we carry is for normal height arches. Um, there are three arches in the, in the foot. And some of you have heard me discuss this with, with some of our customers. So there's the inside arch, or the medial arch of our foot. Then on the outside of our foot, there's a lateral arch. And then right behind the, the metatarsal heads, or uh, what some people refer to as the balls of the foot, right behind there is another arch, okay? Well, they do the same thing with insoles. There are insoles that, that have two of those arches, and then three of those arches. These are the cadence. The red one, the EXMP, that has all three arches, the medial, the lateral, and the transverse, and I'll explain this to the customers when I'm talking to them. The blue ones, the, the blue cadence, the, it just has the medial and lateral, there's no transverse arch. Most people, from what I've found, uh, most people really enjoy the, the transverse arch, and I use it for a couple reasons. One is there's an arch there, so why not support it? But two, people who are on their feet all day, uh, particularly who are on cement all day, school teachers, nurses, administrators, people who are on their feet all day, at the end of the day, you know, this, this transverse arch lifts them up, lifts up their, that arch right behind their metatarsal head, and it actually offloads this skin. And then you've got this quarter inch of silicon rubber, and around hour five or six, these start to feel really nice really nice and, I, and I'll share that with, with the customers as well. Um, we have a couple of designs here. Uh, there is the there is the cadence and there is the power step, the power steps um, and then of course we have we have super feet. I lean pretty heavily toward cadence as, as most of you guys know um, especially when it comes to the transverse arch. The power plus the one, the, the one by uh, power step, the transverse arch is not in the right place. And I don't find that, you know, there are few, few people who like it, but basically this is in the wrong place. When they step in the cadence, it's just instant comfort because that's, this is more anatomical. This is the way that the foot is shaped. Um, the top covers of these, they, they vary from about an eighth inch thick to uh, about a quarter inch thick, the top covers, what the foot actually rests on. Um, and they vary in cushiness. Once again, I lean toward the cadence because it has basically a, a quarter inch thickness of silicon rubber. Very, very cushy insole. Another thing I like about it, so the heels of these, um, some of these devices, the power step, they have maybe a little extra cushion in the heel, but not a lot. So people who, who again are taking a lot of hard steps on concrete all day, they can actually bottom out on this, and the cushion will wear down. Same with the same with the Superfoot Superfeet brand. I like what Cadence did. You can see that they cut a window in the in the hard plastic frame. They cut a window here, and then that window is filled with the same quarter inch of silicon rubber. So they offload the heel because the the heel is captured by the the plastic frame. It's offload because there is a window for it to kind of float off the ground, and then there is a quarter inch of silicon rubber in this. So when it comes to people who are, you know, five, ten, fifteen thousand steps a day, 
this is a very, very comfortable insole. And if they need more cushion than that, you, a lot of you guys have seen me wear a kind of little felt uh, donut that sits right here. So their, their heel is even lifted off the bottom of their shoe even more. I, I, I make it so their heel can't even touch the bottom of their shoe. So people who come in with heel pain, that usually is just an instant relief. They love it. So, uh, and by the way, if you want any, you know, if you run across a customer that has a lot of heel pain and they need that offload and you want some help uh, with uh, cutting and placing those, those white felt pads, come get me. I'm more than happy to help. This concludes our video on insoles. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.